Let me take everything off your mind And go close to me You know that you got it, I'm coming to get it You know what I wanna do and I know that you with it So what you waiting for, open up the door and let me in Yeah, show me back skin Will I see you tomorrow? Are you coming back oh, tomorrow? Oh, she keep asking Will you be with me tomorrow? Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, so I mean, as always, you deliver, man. You right. always bring it to him, man. You know, for the fans, y'all can always check that out on davidbanner.com if you didn't just, if you want to replay it and replay it, you know, right. about the interview. And you can play it to the movement on davidbanner.com. But, you know, we'll talk about that, too. Yeah, but let's get right into that, All man. Right. You got this thing with Kickstarter. And I'm, I'm always glad because uh -huh. I feel uh -huh. like, you know, with Black Tree, we've been always a part of technology. I'm uh -huh. always glad to see you know, our entre entrepreneurs use technology right. to their benefit instead of always being, you know, late in the game right. and stuff. Being victim, instead of being victims to technology, exactly. you know, using it early. Well, what, what happened with me was, um, I'm a real big fan of Louis C.K., the comedian, and um, he ran a program where he went directly to his fans and told his fans, listen, I shot, you know, my new special, it was all me, I need you to support it and not bootleg it. And it worked. He made, you know, more than a million dollars in, in a little bit over a month. <clears throat> and God, when God showed me that, man, I was like, dude, we can do the same thing. People from urban environments spend more money on consumer items than anybody in the world. But we don't consume ourselves. We don't give a, we'll give Louis Vuitton half our house, but we won't do the same thing for people with the same skin tone. I'm trying to break that cycle. I'm telling people, listen. I'm giving you 16 songs with the top artists in the world. I got Lil Wayne, I got uh, ASAP Rocky, Snoop Dogg, 2 Chains, Game, Nipsey Hussle, Crit. Uh, basically, we got everybody but Nicki Minaj, uh, Drake, and, and Rick Ross. We got everybody else on there. And I'm, I shot a video for every song. Like, dude, and all I'm asking for people is a pledge of a minimum of a dollar. You know, and the thing is, you can't get no value like that nowhere else. And if you think that that's not worth it, then that tells you what you believe in hip hop. Yeah. You know, and that's what they've done to our culture as a whole is like they feel like black folks ain't worth no money. Overseas in movies, in movies. How many black movies we had to come out last year? You know, during the Oscars, you know, how, how much were black people really truly involved last year? Right. You know, so in saying that, man, like. We have to stop begging people to do it, and we have to do it ourselves, and that's what two and one is about. Okay, so one dollar, and then, then well, they get a minimum, a minimum one dollar. <laughs> they, they, they can put in a hundred. Right, they, well, they can put in a thousand. Um, <laughs> Mo Williams from the Clippers pledged a thousand dollars. Okay, okay. So, okay. you know, it's really more about the movement because what I'm telling people is, imagine this: we have two million people, and we have access to their emails. Like the same, you know, what happened with Trayvon Martin. Imagine if I had those two million people then. You know, we can get, you know, get them to start boycotting or get them to start writing letters or emails or even get them to all of us go to Florida together. Imagine that's what it's really about more than the money is having the access to people without it being in the public eye. That is true power. And I think that's the component of the movement that people are missing. You know, and if you want more information, you can hit davidbanner.com. Or you can hit me at Twitter, The Real Banner. Man, I, I know, you know, we're just a week, uh, not even a week out of uh, George Zimmerman being arrested for the mm -hmm. Trayvon Martin, but uh, it's always good to get from you, you know, uh, your views on a situation. I mean, there's been a lot of back and forth within the community where mm -hmm. you got <coughs> proponents on one side saying, you know, we're ignoring the bigger picture of, of of violence uh, against all blacks and mm -hmm. politicizing this, and you got other people saying that you know we're all you know our children are undervalued and their lives are undervalued. And this stuff happens a lot more than mm -hmm. the Trayvon Martin case. What what made it so unique to you? Well, I I think what made it unique is that <clears throat> people reacted to this particular case, and I think that we get so distracted with the smallest things, like it doesn't matter 
why people were attracted to this case. They are. So it means it's time to move now. Like you, 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 th that's the one thing I always say. You pray, but you can't say when it's going to come. Like the eyes are, the people are activated, the eyes are open. What, what's going to happen with this situation? The thing that I would ask everybody is to, you know, we have to come together and figure out what can we implement to make sure that this doesn't happen to another child again. Because we just had Oscar Grant, we just had Sean Bell. Like we have so many of these situations that happen if not daily, weekly in cities. And that shows you again the value of, of black lives because in a lot of cases, it's happening by, you know, people who are supposed to protect us, the police, policemen. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for, for, for me, there has to be something implemented. And um, I'm planning on writing an open letter to Obama very soon, you know, just asking, like, what can we do to make sure that this doesn't happen to our children again? Mm -hmm. It's a political year. What, I mean, what are you looking f to see out of, the, <coughs> out of these candidates uh, well, for, for, for president that's going to represent us the next four years? What would you like to see happen, you know, in this, this next four years that we hadn't seen <coughs> in this previous four? Well, what I would like to see out of this um, this year is not really so much, or the next four years, it's not really from the president. I would like to see it come from my people. I honestly think black people have given away every aspect of our culture. And one aspect of that culture is the political aspect. Democrats do not serve, they do not cater to black people anymore because we have given our votes. They know historically black people and statistically black people have, suppo have supported Democrats for the most part. So they don't even cater to us. They don't do any of the things that they ever said that they're going to do. It even goes as far as, you know, people being put in office and then they turn around and say, I'm America's president. But you wasn't America's president when you needed our vote. You was down with us. So what we need to stop doing is stop saying that we support people blindly and we have a set of wants that we want as a people. Every other specialized group knows specifically what they want from those candidates. Black people have to do the same or people from urban situations have to do the exact thing. And then the most powerful thing is make sure that they follow through. Man, I always <laughs> get so much wisdom from, from this man. You, you know why he was a uh, uh, college graduate class president, uh -huh. all SGA president, yeah. all that, it, it shows through in all these interviews. But, yeah. one, one of the things I want people to, to, to say, if, you, if I got a little time, um, is I, I hear people so much saying how much they support me and how much they think, you know, the stuff I did for Katrina and, you know, the, whatever they say I do, that's up to y'all to find out or figure out. But if you really support me, support my movement, you know, go to davidbanner.com and pledge, go to davidbanner.com and and, and, and make your donation. The reason is because of this. <clears throat> if you look at Malcolm and Martin historically, they gave the ultimate sacrifice. What situation are their families in right now? Let's be honest. Y'all can bleep stuff out, right? Man, their family's fucked up. And there is no reason why their family should be in that situation. All of the things that they gave, what Mega Evers gave to our culture. So what I'm saying is if you want you know, more artists to step up, more football players to step up, more people who have that influence, you have to make sure that you take care of them also and support them financially, straight up. Because if, if I got two million people that's following me, I'm going to say whatever the hell I want to say, man. That's freedom, man. I can show my dirty ass for my people. You know what I mean? That's what's up. And I appreciate you for always being there, homie. I appreciate you, man. We're going to go back into some more videos right here on 